quite a bit of detail. Craters are all rounded off. There's quite a few of them. The surface appears to be very, very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. When we sent astronauts up there, it wasn't clear what they were going to find on the surface of the moon. We didn't even know if it was a solid surface or if it was a deep powder surface. We didn't know if the rock fields were sharp or dull. We just we had no idea. NASA came to Central Oregon looking for a place to have their astronauts train that would be kind of similar to the terrain that they thought they would find on the moon. Central Oregon is probably one of the few places on Earth where you can, within a few hours, see virtually every type of volcanic feature. The places they focused on were Hole in the Ground, Fort Rock, Lava Butte, Newbury. And those four places really cover the spectrum of volcanic features that they might encounter on the moon. The main thing was to expose them to as many different geological experiences as we possibly could. Get them out in the field and then put that into a context of an actual simulated mission where they had the equipment, they had the simulated backpacks, the cameras, just to learn, get all those routine procedures to be routine. Some of the early attempts to collect samples resulted in splinters coming off and cutting people, and if that happened with a, a spacesuit on, you know, that could be disastrous. Walter Cunningham fell and tore his glove and felt that it was a little too easy to tear, and NASA people agreed, and they beefed up the spacesuit so that that wouldn't happen in space. So simple things like, um, how do you actually sample the rocks were part of the basic training, and then, you know, what observations uh, do you make and how do you put out instruments and where you would choose to put out instruments were important. If you base yourself in Bend, it was a fantastic place to go and see these classic volcanic features in a very, very small area. The thought goes through your mind, oh, well, hey, you know, these people trained here in our area. Uh, you can't help but feel a little bit of pride. And it was a privilege and an honor to have them here. Thank you.